Here we will use a cut model of the RH133 turbocharger to explain the structure and functions of RH3 series turbochargers. RH3 series turbochargers consist of a single stage centrifugal compressor and a single stage mixed flow turbine connected by a single shaft. The exhaust gas from the engine enters the turbine housing, is blown against the turbine wheel to turn the turbine rotor and is then discharged. The compressor impeller installed on the turbine rotor receives the rotational force of the turbine rotor and sucks in and compresses air from the silencer for feeding to the engine. The thrust force is received on two thrust collars installed at the compressor side and on one thrust bearing. A floating journal bearing is installed on each side of the turbine and compressor. Conventional turbochargers are full floating type. The bearing revolves together with the rotor shaft. The version Y turbocharger uses two semi-floating bearings, which do not revolve because they're stopped by pins. One seal ring is placed on each side of the turbine and compressor to prevent leakage of the charged air, exhaust gas, and lube oil.